First, you will need to power up your 440 series tester. Insert the remote interlock key into the 9-pin signal input terminal on the rear panel. The tester will not output voltage or current unless the interlock key is properly plugged into the signal input port of the remote I.O. This allows you to wire pins 4 and 5 up to the DUT enclosure for an extra measure of safety. This is a safe workstation best practice. Connect the power input plug into its socket on the rear panel and the male end into the output receptacle. Now, turn on the power switch on the front panel. The tester will automatically navigate to the home screen. The home screen displays the memory number, status indicator, test time, test voltage, or current and leakage limit or resistance limit, depending on the test type. We will show you how to set up an ACW test followed by a ground bond test. From the home screen, rotate the knob to select memory location. Press the knob to select the memory and press again to select the test type. Press the knob again. Rotate the knob to select the ACW test and press again to save the test type. Rotate the knob to select voltage. Press the knob to edit voltage parameter. Rotate the knob again to change the parameter and press the knob to confirm each parameter. Repeat this until all parameters are set. Make sure the connect parameter is set to on so the ACW and ground bond test will run in a sequence. Once the ACW test has been set up, press back to return to the home screen. Rotate the knob to select the next memory location, then press to confirm. Press the knob again to adjust test parameters. Set the test type to GND, then press to confirm. Use the same process to edit the remaining parameters. Now, we are going to connect the 440 to a DUT and run the test sequences. To connect the 440 to the DUT, you will need the high voltage clip, the high current clip, and the return clip. First, connect the return lead to the return terminal on the 440. Then, connect the high voltage lead by plugging the white end to the HV terminal on the 440. Lastly, connect the red high current lead to the current terminal on the 440. Once all test leads are connected to the 440, you can now connect your DUT. To connect to the DUT, clip the high voltage lead to the mains conductor of the DUT. In this case, we are shorting the line and neutral wires to the high voltage lead. Next, clip the return lead to the chassis of the DUT. Lastly, clip the high current lead to the ground pin of the DUT line cord. This completes all of the connections you will need to make prior to testing your DUT. Close the DUT enclosure door. Stand back and press the test button to run your test sequence. Once completed, rotate the knob to review the results.